this is part two of my series of videos on prescription drug availability and pricing and so forth here in Ecuador. Uh, I did a video the other day about the blood pressure medicine that I buy and I told, I announced in the video that if you have any uh, specific questions about any particular drugs that you want to know about to send me an email. Well, some of you did, and I, it, I went and I did the work for you. I actually didn't do it. I, I have a friend here, his name is Carlos, and he uh, likes to make a little extra money now and then, so I paid him to take the printed emails that I got from five of you people, and he went and to the pharmacies and did the research. He gathered all the data that I asked him to get together for us. Before I continue with this, I want to tell you, I'm going to leave his Carlos WhatsApp information in the description below. He's a, speaks excellent English here. He's a very energetic young man. He wants to help expats and he's a good facilitator. If you need somebody to help you with interpretations, to like when you like when you got to go get your cell phone or you need to go to a doctor or you need to go register at SRI or go get your cedula or any of that stuff and you need an interpreter to go with you Carlos is available and he works very reasonable he's he I think he charges ten dollars an hour which is very reasonable folks I mean he's like you, I don't know I don't know where you can get a better better deal than that so anyway when I come back, I'm going to show you a spreadsheet that I put together of the information, the data that Carlos went out and collected for me. Some of the information on here I found from various uh, sources of online sources, of which I'm going to put in the description. Okay, we'll get started on this as soon as I come back. Hey. Uh, Oh, Rocket Chick Roger. Hello there. So here we go. I Here's the spreadsheet. And I hope I do this right. I'm trying to synchronize this spreadsheet and recording off my computer and synchronize it with this video. I have uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five people that wrote Chris, Reese, Lolita, Jeff, and Corey, and here's the results of the information I found. Chris, you can see here, you wanted to know about Atenolo, 50 milligram. Uh, Carlos found it at Santa Marta, Santa Marta, Santa Monica, uh, Santa Marta, Cruz Azul, and Fibeca for $3.25 to three forty for a box of 20 okay? So I would say that it's readily available here. I don't think you'll have any trouble finding it. Reese, you had a little bit more stuff for us to look up. Alo Purinol, 100 milligram. He found it at Santa Marta and Cruz Azul for 240 to 245. Uh, quantities of three, 300 milligrams. So is that a quantity? I guess that is a quantity. <clears throat> and then, of course, Metropolol, that's the same blood pressure medicine that I take that I talked about in the other video. 620 for 28 days of life. He saw it at Santa Martha and Fibeca, and I'm telling you, it's it's all over the place. It's on all the, the pharmacies that's very readily available here. And as you can see, it's pretty cheap too. When I buy my metropolol uh, blood pressure medicine, I get three boxes, you know. It's under 20 bucks. And if you catch Cruz Azul on their sale days, you get 20% off. And then, of course, Lucid. Lisinopril, Lisinopril, he found it at Cruz Azul in Santa Marta for $5.82 for a box of 20. And then Atorvastatin, Atorvast, you know, doctors must have to take a separate class in school just to learn how to pronounce the name of medicine. But anyway, he found that, I have it highlighted here, 80 milligram, he found both 80 and 40 milligram, he found the 80 milligram at Santa Marta for $28.50 for a box of 10. And then, of course, he found the 40 milligram at Cruz Azul. I have it misspelled there. That's actually Cruz Azul. Z, I'll fix that right now. Okay, Cruz Azul. 
and for sixteen forty-five for a box of ten. And then of course the easy Tamimbi Tamibi Timibi whatever ten milligrams <coughs> found it <coughs> Santa Marta. <coughs> I'm sorry. Found it at Santa Marta for nineteen dollars for a box of fourteen. And then of course the Vascepa, as you can see here, only in USA. Uh, sorry about that. And then curcumin, he found it at Santa Marta, twelve dollars for a box of sixty. And then the COQ10 supplements could not be found. All right. Uh, the there's there's a website here called Pill in a Trip, and I'll put a link to it in the description. You can look it up, and you'll see. You can look up any medicine and see what countries it's in. Uh, I, how accurate it is, I don't know. I'm not going to I'm not going to pretend to be the expert on that, but it's a it's a very uh, it's, a, it's 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 a, it's a website that's loaded with information. Uh, as to whether it's true and accurate or not, that's for you to determine, okay? Lolita, I found, or Carlos found your gabapentin at Santa Marta for $16 for 300 milligrams, $16.50 for 400 milligrams. Hydroxy, hydroxyzine, uh, you found it at Cruz Azul for $325. Uh, Lisinopril, the same thing is up here, right there, Santa Marta, and at Cruz Azul for $620. And then, unfortunately, your hydro, hydrolyzine and your soda law is not available here. That's unfortunate. And then, Jeff, your vitamin supplements, he found some at Santa Marta for $12.25. It's called Pharmaton Vitality. You can get two for $24.50. Jeff, I have not seen vitamins and vitamin supplements anywhere. I, I, I don't see them in and Mega Maxi, and maybe the reason why I don't see them is because I don't go looking for them. Uh, I suspect that the Ecuadorians probably get all their vitamins from their food. I don't know if vitamins are uh, a priority for Ecuadorians. I, somebody else would have to speak to that for me, but I'm just kind of based on what I know about you know the economy here and how it's hard enough for people to even get uh, to find decent food sometimes and be able to pay for it, uh, much less go find vitamins because vitamins, as we all know, can be pretty expensive. My doctor always told me, if you eat the right foods, you get all the vitamins you need. You go outside and get the sun, you get some vitamin D and so forth. So anyway, so Corey, down to Corey here, uh, Proscar, not available in Ecuador, but available in Chile and Peru. And then, of course, this finasteride, semasteride, finasteride is not available in Ecuador. It is available in Venezuela. So, folks, I'm going to say one thing about, you know, buying prescription medication here. Most of the medication that you buy here, you don't need a prescription for. You can walk into a pharmacy, show them a picture on your phone of the medicine you want, and if they have it, they'll most likely sell it to you. I think about the only thing that you need a prescription for here is our narcotics, okay, painkillers and stuff like that. The doctors will give you prescriptions for it. Now, you know how I feel about giving advice. I don't like to give advice, but here is one piece of advice that I will give you. If you come here and you get prescription medicine for whatever it is that you need it for, and then you need to take a trip to the United States and you need to take that medicine with you. Call your doctor, pay your doctor a visit and go pick up a prescription because it's very possible that TSA, if they detect it in your luggage, they may question you about it and they may not let you in the country with it. There's always that possibility. Uh, if you have, because see, you, your prescriptions here, you don't get them in a bottle with a label on them like we're so used to having in the United States. They come in a box and then they come packaged like this and a lot of times if you need like, you know, an odd number of these pills, they'll break these up and put them in another box with the box full of these. And, you know, they, you don't, it, it's not in a bottle. I've never seen a pill bottle here at all. 
So just be smart about it. Get a, get a prescription. The doctor will sign it and has a stamp. They all have a rubber stamp that they put on their prescriptions. It shows and, and get them to spell out the dosage and the instructions on how to take it and all that kind of stuff. Just to be on the safe side. That'll save you a lot of trouble and grief trying to get back home for a short visit, okay? Coming back may be the same thing. Just keep your prescription with you, okay? Just to be on the safe side. That's some advice that I'm giving you, and it's free, okay? You don't have to pay for my advice. What little advice I like to give. Now, I'm going to put in the description, I'm going to put a link to Carl's. If you need an interpreter here, you need somebody to run errands for you, you need somebody to help you get uh, talk to a doctor or talk to the folks at the store, any store, Claro, anywhere. Like I need uh, someone to help me with SRI. You know, he is a good person to go, to go. He lives here in the Asea Lago area and he's, you know, he can get to you pretty quickly if he's available. So take his number down, put it in your notes and keep him in mind for when you need an interpreter. I'll also put a link in the description for the uh, the website that I mentioned in the video about the pill and a trip. And I think that's all of it owe you. And then of course, you'll have my email address if you have any questions about any of the medication that you need to find here, drop me an email. Don't ask it in the comment section, drop me an email. Here's my email right here, okay? Write it down. And for those of you that don't that like to say we don't get the description on your iPhone, your phone, well, yeah, you just don't know how to get to it. But anyway, at least on an iPhone, I know I can get it on my iPhone. I don't know about Android. So that's it. That's part two of my series on drugs here in Ecuador. Prescription drugs, not drug drugs, not recreational drugs. And which, by the way, folks, recreational drugs are readily available here. But don't ask me about that. I won't get into that discussion. Okay, so from Monte Ecuador, it's a beautiful day here today. The World Cup's playing. Lots of people are out and about watching that. I'm not watching it. I'm sitting here taking care of you. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.